Okay, so um, this is my 1950 uh, Selpen 9B, uh, uh, which is obviously power feed with the change gears. Um, I've had it now for about a year. Done a, obviously cleaned it up, painted it, changed all the wicks, got her going pretty nice. Um, what I want to do is just show you the um, needle bearing modification on the uh, in place of the fiber washer and the end of the headstock there. Uh, a lot of people say it's not necessary. I found that it uh, helped control the uh, the oil leaking out of that rear bearing, and um, I was able to get all of the play out of the uh, spindle, all of the axial play um, in and out out of that spindle completely without bonding it or making a ton of noise, which when I had mine and then tightened down that washer, it um, made a ton of noise. So uh, let me set the camera on that side and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so from the factory between this take up nut in this bearing housing is gonna be a fiber washer. Uh, let me just show you how to adjust that normally. Um, what you would do, loosen this set screw here this collar will obviously spin on the shaft tighten it down until you feel a bit of a drag on the headstock here Maybe disengage the belt so I'm right about there right there is where I feel the drag now from there you want to back off very very slightly probably about maybe a tenth of a turn back it off and then tighten it down so it doesn't move make sure you're not binding and that's pretty much where you want it now you're going to get some you shouldn't get a whole lot of axial play in and out of the of the headstock but what I found is I got a lot of chatter, vibration. Also, I was leaking a ton of oil around where the fiber washer went. So I did some research, found online a lot of people were replacing those with needle bearings, um, which is actually really, really easy to do. Um, the only thing you have to do really is um, just take everything, loosen your screw for your, your banjo gears, get those out of the way and pull out your tumbler reverse and then just pop this take up nut off now let me see if I can get this a little further in now what you're gonna do is you're gonna order two here two here two hardened washers and a needle bearing now this needle bearing is an inch and three eighths shaft two and sixteenth of an inch outside diameter and it is 564 thick um, the part number on this from McMaster car is 5909 K3 and these are the 32,000 hardened washers um, part number on those 5909 K3 53 obviously you want two of these so all you got to do is put your hardened washer in first needle bearing in second then your other washer in there pop your take up nut on there now I've been able to crank this pretty damn tight on there What I did is I just went by hand and now I have no 
axial play in this shaft whatsoever and I have zero drag on this headstock here. Um, once you get this all in, just tighten it down. Tighten the belt back up. Now you'll be able to hear this bearing go. It'll, you'll make a slight hiss. Uh, I don't know if you can actually hear that. That's the bearings going in between that. I like to oil it um, just with regular uh, spindle oil. And like I said, this has been able to control my oil flow out of these bearings. You're always going to get some leaks, but this has slowed it down a hell of a lot. Um, it also makes, at least in my opinion, um, it'll make the facing operations much smoother. Um, I've been able to get a much smoother finish with this as compared to the fiber washer. Also, the fiber washers will wear out um, depending on how abused your lathe is. You might be worn straight through. It all depends a lot, uh, and also a lot too. Um, you have a tendency of bending them when you pull if you do a rebuild and replace the wicks you'll have a tendency to actually bend that fiber washer when it comes off so if you're going to have everything to out anyway it's a worth very very worthwhile uh, small modification and it'll cost you at the most like five eight bucks it'll make your life a lot lot easier um, and you also I've seen lathes that actually have worn through the fiber washer and have actually worn a groove into this bearing surface here so um, this will also help prevent that in the future um, so that's it for this really really quick video um, if you guys like things like this let me know what you want to see and I'll see if I can uh, make it happen I know my camera skills ain't the greatest in the world um, I do want to make a video of just what to look for in um, buying one of these and uh, we'll see how that goes.